everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and in today's video I'm going to be taking you thrifting with me. On this trip I actually went to Valley Village which was this morning. I just got back and I lucked out. Their shelves were not bare this time which was kind of nice because the last time I went they were pretty bare uh, but this time they were like fully stocked so I found lots of goodies that I can't wait to share with you guys. Um, but before we jump into the clips of me at the thrift store, and sorry if you hear my little guy in the background, he's playing with his toys just right outside this door. I have the door open so I can hear him and see him. But yeah, if you hear any toys going off or anything like that, that's just my little guy right outside the door. But before we jump into the clips of me thrifting, I wanted to say thank you to today's sponsor, Dossier. Um, they are a perfume company and they do make candles as well. I do have one of their candles burning here in the background. Um, but they, their thing is kind of like um, making perfumes that are inspired by more expensive perfumes. So it's a great way to try um, expensive perfumes at a cheaper price to see if you like them before you commit to the the really big prices because I know like especially for me I don't like to spend a lot of money on scents so I like never buy um, brand name perfumes like ever um, with the exception of black opium I've definitely bought in that one before but they have one that is inspired by black opium, so that makes me super excited. But last month, they sent me four of their scents. I have, the first one is Powdery Coconut, and the notes for this one are Cardamom, Pistachio, Bergamot, uh, Lang Lang, Tuberose, Tuberose, Jasmine, and Cedarwood, Amber, Benzoin, and Coconut. And this is inspired by Tom Ford's Soleil Blanc perfume and it actually smells pretty good the only thing is is I find that it has a very strong jasmine scent and jasmine isn't always my favorite scent but it is still a very nice scent the next one I have is citrus green apple which I love citrus scents I I don't know I just really gravitate towards like sweet and citrus I find. So this one is inspired by Dolce & Cabana's, sorry, he's just in the background, Dolce & Cabana's light blue um, perfume. So that's what that one's inspired by. And then the next one I have is Fruity Orange because again, I like citrus. I definitely tend to gravitate towards the citrus and um, like sweet smelling scents. So the Fruity Orange is inspired by Clinique's Happy Perfume. So we have that one. And then the best for last because it is my favorite scent because it is inspired by um, YSL's Black Opium, which is this ambery vanilla one. And I love this scent. And I don't know what it is about it, but I just love it because it has like, um, there's like coffee undertones and like tobacco under undertones, which I'm not like cute. I don't like the smell of people smoking or anything like that, but I just love the scent of this. And I don't know... Maybe it's the cedar wood undertone that I'm, or base notes that I'm noticing. But this one has mandarin, pear, pink pepper, licorice, jasmine, orange blossom, cedar wood, patchouli, patchouli, vanilla, and coffee. And like I said, it is inspired by YSL's Black Opium, which is my absolute favorite. And actually the candle that's burning behind me that they also sent to me um, is Amber Vanilla. And it is heavenly. I love that scent. It's my favorite. But if you want to give Dossier, if you want to check out Dossier, I will have all of their information linked down in the description box below for you guys. And without further ado, let's just jump right into these thrift, uh, can't talk, these thrifting clips. Jump into the car on a Friday night, I want to drive with you. Looking for a bar in the nearest town, I've never seen a sky so blue. to be 
to Valley Village and I did find a few goodies. I have them all just stuck in this basket. Okay, so one of the first items I found and I only found the one which kind of sucks so I'll have to keep an eye out for the other ones but it's this coffee canister, um, copper, copper, uh, copper coffee canister. Just looks like that on the inside. And this is just gonna be for decor. I'm not gonna put coffee in it or anything like that, but I just love it. I love the look of it. I love copper. Um, if you've been following me for a little while now, you probably know that I do have quite the copper collection started. Um, so this is just one more piece to add to my collection. I do need to find the tea, and I think there's a sugar one maybe, but this was $4.99, and I just love it. So I can't wait to, I honestly cannot wait to get into our house in Nova Scotia and be able to decorate with all of my finds. I'm just so excited. Okay. The next thing I picked up was this bag of goodies. Now, there was only one item in this bag that I wanted. The other ones, not so much. But I will, I don't even know what they all look like. But I will take them all out and show you. Open this bag. I have no idea what that red thing is. Like, what is... Oh, it's a candle, I guess. But... I'm not going to use this. I'm just going to donate it back. But the one item that I wanted in there because it looked so neat was this candle. What are they? Candle snuffers? Snuffer? I don't know what they're called. But just look how beautiful that is. It looks so old and like vintage. Um, there's no markings or anything on it so I have no idea. But I just loved the look of it. And of course it was in a bag with all kinds of things that I didn't. I only wanted this one piece. But thankfully the bag was only... $2.99 so not too bad but I did find this this is the reason why I bought that bag but I just thought it was so cute so I have that and then what else was in the bag were these little tea light glass holders which I probably won't keep I'll probably donate these back because I have no use for them I don't really decorate with those types of things one piece I'll probably end up keeping I just have to clean it up is this little candle holder it's kind of cool I, I don't necessarily love this design here on there but this is what it says on the bottom. But it is kind of a nice piece. So I may keep that. It might look nice in like a cottage decor. So I think I might keep this one and clean it up and things like that. It's pretty dusty right now. But it is pretty cute. And then the other item that was in there, which I'll probably keep because it is a little brass candle holder. Not the type of candles that I typically use. The, this looks more like one for a pillar candle. But um, it is brass. So I might, I'll probably keep this one. So. That was all that was in that little bag of goodies. And then the next item I found, which I'm like, I cannot, I'm excited I found this. Um, it is called Christmas with Anne. So it's the Anna Green Gables. The, the cover is damaged a little bit there, but um, let me see if how it looks without the cover. And you know what? I'll probably just take the cover off because it is a beautiful red book, but 
<laughs> if you've been following me for a while, you know that I love Anne of Green Gables. I grew up in uh, Nova Scotia, which is right next to PEI. So we used to go to PEI for summers and I, we just loved going over there. And we've also done like the uh, Anne, of Green, Anne of Green Gables Museum over there. And we just love, I just loved it. I loved it as a little girl. I went to the play as a little girl and I loved the play. And when I got back from the play, <laughs> so funny I literally wrote out the whole play like a book because I just loved it so much but anyways I was so happy to find this I didn't even know that there was like a Christmas with Anne book so I'm glad I found it and yeah I can't wait to add this to my little book collection but this was $5.99 so now we have the Christmas with Anne and then the other thing I got and the last thing I got was this basket. I am redoing the boys room and I know I promised to have that video up like a week or so ago but um, with all the fires and stuff here where I live in Alberta um, we are kind of like we're not on alert right now but on the radio it does say like you know you should have your bags packed and your important papers packed so that at any moment's notice we could be evacuating so we've kind of just been make like I haven't been doing as much as I typically would just in case something were to happen and we have to evacuate like immediately so um I haven't really been doing much to the boys room honestly I haven't even decorated it yet but I am still gathering a few things here and there to put in their room but um this is one of the things I got for their room I'm gonna put it on top of their dresser with some knickknacks in it and things like that this was $2.49 and yeah I just think like a basket of like books or something would be nice. I actually have a book haul sitting down here that I have to do for my other channel. Um, and there's a, I did get them a book that's in, actually in that box. Uh, so I would like to put a few books on their, um, uh, on top of their dresser and a basket. And then I'll have like, actually I think I'm gonna put that lamp from my last haul, the banker's lamp on their dresser, along with some other like knickknack, deck decorative things so I don't know it will all come together I think it'll look really nice all in the end and I'm excited to decorate it and finally get it finished because it's been sitting blank for so long it's been like I don't know sitting blank for like three weeks I finished painting a while ago but you know things just take time so it is what it is <coughs> but like I said I haven't been doing much just because we kind of are in that stage of we don't know if we're going to get evacuated or not so yeah, those were all of my goodies that I got from the thrift store on this trip. I am actually really excited with my haul. I, yeah, I found some really great items and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I definitely wanna say thank you again to Dossier for sponsoring today's video. And like I said, I'll have all of their information linked down in the description box below for you guys. And yeah, that's all I have to share with you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up as it really helps me out. And definitely consider subscribing if you enjoy thrifting videos, decorating videos do lots of those types of videos here on this channel and I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.